Hey, it's Rustanio. I've got a story to tell you. So today at lunch, I was kind of waiting for my soup to cool off. And I should have known that when they called it loaded baked potato soup, it was going to have bacon in it. Well, I don't eat bacon. If you're on this parasite journey and you're still eating pork, I'm surprised. So it reminded me when I was picking the bacon out of my soup, it reminded me of this funny story. Um, I have this cute little wellness shop here in rural Montana and I just love it. You never know who or what is going to walk in the door from day to day. And this, this one day, a few months ago, this adorable lady walks in. She is always dressed to the nine, the cutest Western boutique wear and turquoise. And she's carrying this little box. And she says, hey, I follow you on Facebook. And I know you're talking about parasites all the time. So I was wondering if you might know what this is. So instantly I'm thinking, ooh, <laughs> all right. This cute little classy lady, what's in the box? Yeah, ooh, what's in the box? She opens this box. It was like a recycled jewelry box. And um, it was a little parasite, a little worm. And it looked like it had little teeth, you know? So I said, well, wow, to the best of my ability, that to me looks like a hookworm because I think, I'm not a scientist, but I think it's the hookworms that have the chompers, you know, that have the, 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 the teeth on them. So, you know, we talked about it. We were going to get on the internet and look it up a little bit. And then she says, guess where I found it? So then, of course, I'm thinking, well, do tell. <laughs> it was, you know, pretty clean looking. I'm like, well, where did you find it? In her pork chop. Yes, seriously. In her pork chop. She said it had, it was burrowed into the bone. She said they were really nice looking pork chops. Burrowed into the bone. And it was long. She said she gently pulled and pulled until she got it out in one piece. And then the rest of the story, um, she just cooked it really well and ate it anyway. I said, what? Did you tell your husband? She said, um, no. I bet he got the pork chop with the worm. What do you think? I'd love to know. Throw some comments down. Have you ever actually seen parasites in your pork or in your food? I have been biblically clean eating for quite a long time. I believe the good Lord told us not to eat these things for a reason. Those unclean foods, unclean animals, he put here as scavengers. They are here to clean up the earth. They are garbage disposals. They are garbage disposals with a heartbeat and we should not eat eat them. Um, other unclean things that I do not eat are things like sushi or just commercial fish in general. It's got way more parasites than the average meat. Um, I consider myself very lucky. I am not plant-based. I am definitely a um, carnivore. I use my canines. We farm and ranch. Um, so I know where my beef comes from. I do understand if I had to buy meat um, from a grocery store that had been setting on a styrofoam um, plate and covered in saran wrap, I probably wouldn't eat it either. But I do feel really fortunate that we raise our own meat and um, have a better quality than a lot of unfortunate people do. But anyway, that's my story. I thought it was totally shareable. Put in the comments any of your parasite and food stories. Ooh, 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 baby,